Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. A few weeks ago, I purchased the Sony a7 IV and haven't used it for a couple of weeks and shot quite a lot of photo and video with it. There's a few small things that I absolutely love about this camera. And this list is all about small little quality of life features and quirks that make the a7 IV one of the most enjoyable cameras I've used in many years, especially aimed at people that might be upgrading from one of the older Sony models. Okay, let's start off with the form factor. The a7 IV is one of the most ergonomic and comfortable cameras I've held over a long period of time. The hand grip is a bit bigger and overall the buttons seem to be positioned in the most optimal place. The design of the body is actually the same as Sony's flagship A1 which means if you're upgrading from one of Sony's older models you're actually going to be holding a bigger more robust body. That being said you won't notice a difference in your camera bag on your wrist or even at first glance visually but as soon as you start using it and shooting with it you'll notice how much better the ergonomics are. It kind of feels like holding a DSLR only it's still smaller and lighter but it just feels like again more robust it reminds me of the 70d the Canon 70d which was one of my first cameras many years back next up let's talk about battery life I was kind of shocked to see that the a7 IV only shipped with one battery but after putting it through its paces and using it for a full day I can kind of see why because this thing lasts forever well obviously not forever forever but bearing in mind I used to carry about six or seven spare batteries for my a7R Mark II and change one of those batteries like every hour these new bigger batteries from Sony are an absolute godsend I would of course still recommend picking up a spare or two if you're somebody that travels a lot or you need power over the course of a few different days but don't be put off by the fact that it only ships with one battery to start with you can spend a little time with the camera before you spend more money on more accessories for this camera also side note it doesn't actually ship with one of those little blocks that you put the battery in to charge it either but you can charge it directly inside the camera so what I've been doing lately is taking the charger wire with me and charging my camera in the car while I'm driving from location to location which just gives it a little bit more juice while you're moving from spot to spot Okay, next let's give a quick big shout out to the S Cinetone picture profile from Sony. If you're anything like me and you absolutely love taking photos and also filming videos, but you're no professional colorist or you need a fast way to get video off your camera that already looks great with minor post-processing, then you're going to love playing around with the Sony S Cinetone picture profile. Some gorgeous light starting to dip through the trees now which I was hoping for but I wasn't sure if it was going to happen when I pulled up this morning it was pretty flat but back to the S Cinetone picture profile S Cinetone is inspired by a monitoring look from the Sony Venice cameras in the cinema world and it is a real what you see is what you get picture profile if it's exposed correctly it looks beautiful straight out of the camera I need to dive in with this picture profile a lot more and film more of it in the coming weeks and months but my first impressions after the last couple of weeks of using this picture profile is that it looks very impressive straight out of camera and thankfully the skin tones look fantastic. Also a big shout out to the shutter sound on the a7 IV. I know that might sound like a silly one to have in the list but as I said at the beginning this is all about quality of life features that just make the camera fun and enjoyable to use and tell me I'm wrong when I say a nice shutter sound on a camera makes it so much more enjoyable to use every time I take a photo with the a7 IV I'm like yep yeah, that is the sound I want to hear when I take a photo Now for the quality of the LCD and EVF, I've been super impressed by these two things so far. A lot of times with my A7R Mark II, which I have right here, I would be out on a bright day and I wouldn't be able to see the LCD and then looking through the EVF would be just as bad. But I haven't really experienced this with the A7 IV yet. On the A7R Mark II, I'd often find myself doing this hand over the top thing to block the light so that I could actually see through the EVF. But again, I haven't had to do this on the A7 IV. And for somebody that shoots in daylight a lot, 
lot because I don't agree with only going out at certain times of day to take photos. I try and take photos all day whenever I can. So for someone that does that, this is an absolute godsend again. Staying on the topic of the screen, we thankfully have the fully articulating screen, which I am so, so happy about. It might sound silly, but this was actually one of the biggest selling points about this camera for me. Don't get me wrong, I fully appreciate and understand the benefits of the tilt screen that stays in line with the sensor, but if you're a landscape photographer like me who finds yourself in some weird positions, low to the ground, low to water, wrestling with a tripod, or even filming yourself like I am now, then it's kind of a no-brainer which screen option you would try and go for. Lastly, hands down my favourite feature on any camera I've ever used, the dedicated photo and video modes. Being able to swap between photo and video mode and have all of the custom buttons and functions completely unique to those two mediums is absolutely incredible. This means you get free save profiles per mode and with every single other button on the a7 IV being customisable, the options for you to set your camera up exactly how you need to use it are endless. Also, no more accidentally taking photos in video mode because you want your switch that dial to video mode the camera will not allow you to take a still image there's nothing worse than getting home and realizing you've took a bunch of images in like s log 3 or something that i used to do that all the time just a rookie mistake and all of that being backed up by the ergonomics of the a7 IV it makes this camera an absolute delight to use that's going to do it for me in this one guys i appreciate you watching and as always i'll see you in the next one